about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, today's video then is something that I kind of wanted to talk about with you um, because it's something that has kind of been on my mind and something that you may have noticed if you've been following me for a while and that is my weight. Now I'm not here to make an issue about weight, I just wanted to address my own personal situation. Now the title of the video is obviously the truth about my weight, cancer treatment, steroids, comfort eating, holiday, lockdown, they've all had an effect. So let's start then by going back to before I was diagnosed with cancer. Um, at the time I was probably uh, just about my ideal weight that I was aiming for and I've been going to Weight Watchers um, because okay by many people's standards I wasn't sort of overweight overweight you know what I mean um, but to me I knew that I had sort of let it go a little bit and wasn't my ideal weight I didn't feel comfortable within myself um, so yeah, I've been going to Weight Watchers and gradually losing the weight. Um, so that's how I did it the first time. And um, yeah, very close to my ideal weight and then I was diagnosed. Now, people tend to have this sort of image of a, a cancer patient as being very frail and gaunt. Um, but that isn't the case necessarily yes you will see some people like that but it all depends how your body reacts to treatment how you were before you started treatment or before you came ill years ago I think there were more people that probably did look like that when they were going through treatment because treatments are improving all the time um, I first had cancer sort of three and a half years ago and sort of the medication that they give you has changed in that time. I mean, they definitely give you anti-sickness medication. So you're not gonna be throwing up all the time and, and losing your appetite. What they actually do is give you steroids to avoid sickness and to keep your appetite up because keeping weight on is one of the battles because if you've got a little bit of weight on, it makes you stronger to actually fight, um, or to, not to fight necessarily, but to to cope with the treatment better. So steroids obviously make you eat. Um, they also, they also, I feel, bulk you up a bit. I could tell, you know how some people get a round face when they're on steroids? I did get that. Um, not hugely, but when I look back at the photographs, I can definitely tell that I've got a bit of a, what they call moon face um, from the steroids. So, Yes, they do help you with the side effects of the chemotherapy, but they give you an appetite and they can make you bloat as well. So before you start treatment, you will actually be weighed, you'll have your height measured, and each time before you have another round, they will check your height and weight to make sure um, that you're not losing weight dramatically, which can obviously be a sign of cancer. And it also, lets them know that you are managing to maintain weight to cope with the treatment and it also lets them measure the dose of the chemotherapy that you're going to have exactly. You will probably read lots of different things about what you should and shouldn't eat or drink during cancer treatment. Um, there were a lot of people out there trying to sell you super vitamins or whatever, superfoods that they'll call them. Always check with your oncologist and take proper advice because a lot of it out there, um, it isn't true. And worst case as well, they certain herbs and things can actually interfere with chemotherapy. A lot of people will be well-meaning, but it, it isn't necessarily helpful. If somebody tries to sort of put you on sort of a rabbit diet almost, um, yes, eating healthily will help boost your body, your immune system, so that can only benefit, but you do need to eat properly 
as well um, because you don't want to be losing weight. So yes to vitamins from food and to be honest because you have to keep that body weight on I would say you know eat that food but also eat what you fancy because that is the most important thing to keep that body weight on. Just because you may eat healthily now it's not a guarantee that you won't get cancer. Um, both times I've been diagnosed, ironically, I've probably been eating in the healthiest I've ever eaten and exercising. So, you know, that shows you that it doesn't necessarily, well, I mean, it doesn't stop you. And uh, one of my best friends was actually a vegetarian, very strict vegetarian, vegan. Um, and she actually died from cancer. So there is no rule that that will save you. It may help you, as I say, but it won't save you. But it will make your body, if you're eating the right things, feel well fueled, and it will keep your immune system strong enough to handle the toxins and the surgery that's gonna be thrown at it. So let's be clear, while you're going through treatment, eat what you want is the rule. And to be honest, that's what I did. Um, it was sort of last autumn when I was diagnosed. So sort of in the run up to Christmas and you've got all the nice Christmassy things. So yeah, I did indulge. And also you've got the kind of what the hell kind of um, mentality. You know, I'm hardly gonna be on my deathbed and wish I'd not had that extra bar of chocolate or that extra cake. Um, so you've got that mental battle going on. So yeah, if you want McDonald's for breakfast or if you want a cake for breakfast for three or four days in a row, it is important that you do it whilst you're on treatment. Chemotherapy in itself can come with a lot of side effects. Um, you can feel nauseous. The tablets should help you with that, but sometimes the sight of food even, or the smell of food can make you feel sick. So eating when you are hungry or when you really fancy it, just do it, okay? Because you might have days when you don't want to eat. It's not the time for you to be calorie counting. And yeah, that is what happened to me. I stopped doing Weight Watchers, I stopped calorie counting, and it was all about just comfort eating, keeping my weight up, um, and just, you know, just being happy. And just, if that's what it took when I was feeling down, then that's what I did. And so with the comfort eating, Christmas, steroids, my weight went up. And I think since, before I was diagnosed to now, I've put on, I think, and I'm gonna weigh myself in a minute, I think it's about a stone and a half, which is quite scary because it takes a lot, I'm sure it takes, it's harder to lose a stone and a half, isn't it, than gain it. Um, but yeah, so that's where I'm at. And I'm not the only one. A lot of people do actually gain weight during cancer treatment. Um, you might go into it thinking, oh well, silver lining, I'll lose weight. Not necessarily the case. The steroids will give you munchies. So yeah, right in the middle of it all, we had Christmas, so I had all the goodies at Christmas. Um, then as I was finishing treatment, we went into lockdown. And obviously, you know, we all comfort at, I think a lot of us did anyway. And exercise is kind of one of the last things you feel like doing during cancer treatment and obviously during lockdown. Although they do say that cancer fatigue is helped by exercise, but I think I'll address that in another video. Yeah, lockdown helped me pile on the weight and then I had a holiday. Um, just a short break in the UK and obviously after everything I've been through, you know, and then COVID and you can't sort of celebrate in the way that you wanted to, you can't go on this nice foreign holiday that you wanted to, so you're not gonna be in your bikini. So yeah, holiday in the UK, which means fish and chips, donuts, wine, sweet coffees, anything, you know, that enriches that UK holiday experience. Yes, I know it doesn't have to be like that, but you just want to enjoy yourself, don't you? After everything you've been through. 
So yeah, with a combination of all those, so combination of steroids, lockdown, comfort eating, holiday, that's why I put the weight on. Oh, lack of exercise. So I'm through treatment. My mission now then is to get my weight back down. Again, you might look at me, you might look at my pictures, you might look at my videos and think, well, actually, she's not overweight or she's not particularly overweight or I don't see what's wrong. Um, but to me, I know that I am. Well, I know that I have put weight on and I don't feel as happy in my own body as I, I know I can do. So that's what it's about. Um, I need to feel better in myself. I need to start eating healthier so that, you know, my body can fight again, should it unfortunately need to. And a healthy diet is obviously the best thing for us anyway. So, I've been kind of almost putting off filming this video because I thought, I know as soon as I film it, then I've got to stick to it. So I am going to start exercising more. I'm going to start eating healthily more. I am going to go back to Weight Watchers. I was very, very strict on it last time, so I'm going to try not to be too hard on myself at the moment. We are coming up to autumn, winter when we've got all those nice treats as well, um, so it is going to be difficult, but I know it is for my own good. And I had this chat with somebody the other day about finding the balance because you do get to, what's the point? You know, if it's going to come back, what's the point? Now, Nobody's saying it's going to come back. Nobody's saying it's not going to come back. But the healthier you are, as I say, the better you are equipped to fight it. So that's the, the mindset that I've got to get into. So I'm going to take you on this journey with me. So whether you're in a similar situation and you've gained weight from cancer or whether you've gained weight from lockdown, um, then I'm hoping that we can work together to improve our fitness and improve our diet. So keep a look out for the upcoming videos and you can join me on this next journey. So let us go and weigh myself. I am sort of, I'm dressed but I'm not in everything particularly heavy although I've got denim shorts on. Um, but yeah, I'm not looking forward to this. This is the first time I've weighed myself at home since diagnosis. So it's going to be interesting, it's going to be shocking I think. So here we go. The scale's well just on that side. Right, so that was the first weigh in. I still work in stones, so I'm just gonna work out, because that did it in kilograms, what I am. Okay. I'm not gonna say what I am, <laughs> but I'd say it's about a stone and a half, as I thought, um, because they have weighed me at the hospital, so I had a rough idea. Um, so not terribly shocked, not enamoured either, um, so yeah, journey starts here, um, I do need to tone up as well, so I'm going to be trying I think, various different exercises to see how that works, and um, yeah, so I'll be sharing with you my healthy shopping on a budget, my workout routines. Um, I have put quite a lot of food in the cupboards at the minute, so I'm going to have to try and use those before I start buying loads of stuff because I just haven't got the room in the cupboards. So we can see how we can use sort of everyday items to 
eat healthily as well. So yeah, make sure you are subscribed to my channel for this particular journey. With you there, hopefully it will give me the incentive to keep going because at Weight Watchers I did used to go to weigh in every week so uh, I don't think we physically go back to Weight Watchers but I will be weighing myself once a week so I need you to be my eyes and be checking on me um, so yeah give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and to hit that notification bell so you can be alerted each time a new video is uploaded and uh, yeah see how I'm doing and I'll see you in the next one take care Bye. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. No supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I am not pretending, I'm born like this again. Calling me a mad woman, mad woman No, I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah